Social media, a hotbed of conspiracy theories. Since it is created to be highly addictive physically and psychologically, it is no surprise that people will firmly believe in theories and sometimes without making sure they're even correct. They forget that the media is owned by companies who choose what they want us to see and what they don't. In 21 December 2019, the first coronavirus case was confirmed in Wuhan city, China. So, the Chinese government enforced lockdown measures by closing borders and asking citizens to stay at home. Later, the entire world became the epicenter of the coronavirus pandemic and every government began taking adequate measures to contain the spread. But what if it's fake? False! Falso! Here, we are going to look at some theories about the coronavirus that people are considering. Who knows? Maybe they end up being true. First theory, Bill Gates, the owner of Microsoft, is the one who unleashed the virus. In 2015, Bill Gates did a TED talk about the possibility of an outbreak. He asserted that a highly infectious virus could kill 10 million people and not a nuclear war. Today, the greatest risk of global catastrophe doesn't look like this. Instead, it looks like this. If anything kills over 10 million people in the next few decades, it's most likely to be a highly infectious virus rather than a war. In April 2018, Bill Foundation uploaded a video about a pandemic that originated in China and then expanded to become a worldwide pandemic. It has been said that it could kill 30 million people in six months. And let's not forget that Bill Gates has multiple talks about overpopulation and how it is affecting our world. Here we can see a chart that looks at the total world population over the last several hundred years. And at first glance, this is a bit scary. We go from less than a billion in 1800, and then three, four, five, six, and 7.4 billion where we are today is happening even faster. So, could Bill Gates be the reason we are in the middle of a pandemic? Some sources debunk the theory by stating that Gates helps fund research activities to develop potential coronavirus vaccines. So, it is improbable that he would participate in the spread of the virus. Second theory, is the coronavirus a marketing strategy to help boost our organizations? While this may sound extreme, it is highly probable. When people are scared to go outside and do some grocery shopping, they heavily rely on deliveries in order to bring food and essential things home. Which would ultimately boost the sales of all online grocery retailers. Indeed, Ocado, a British online supermarket, had its sales surge 40% during this pandemic. Moreover, some individuals look for ways to entertain themselves. And what better than movies or series to fill their time? In late March, Netflix dropped picture quality by 25% in certain countries to save the internet from breaking. <laughs> and we have to mention the companies that manufacture hand sanitizers, toilet papers, wet wipes, and masks that almost everyone in the world has at least one in stock. Could they have made the virus to boost their sales and ruin 2020? Third theory, it actually states that 5G networks accelerate the spread of coronavirus. However, we must debunk this from the start because it is more of a myth than a theory. A virus is made from biological particles composed of proteins and nucleic acids, while 5G networks are waves or photons. The World Health Organization asserted that viruses cannot travel via radio waves or mobile networks. So no need to panic guys. Fourth theory, it blames it all on bats. In fact, this theory has been going round on social media claiming that COVID-19 escaped from a Chinese laboratory. However, scientific research proved that it must have passed through an intermediary animal in the same way that another coronavirus, the 2002 SARS outbreak, moved from horseshoe bats 
to cat-like civets before posing danger to humans. This supports a radical view that animal-to-human transmission is the accurate scenario. This video is made to make you think differently, to take all perspectives into account, to inspect everything before believing anything, to analyze situations before drawing conclusions. As Antonio Guterres, the Secretary General of the United Nations mentioned, we are fighting an infodemic. Beware of the viral misinformation because it is the real pandemic that can spark senseless panic. In the movie Contagion, the role of the blogger played by Jude Law asserts to 12 million internet users that the government is developing a pernicious vaccine. He then boasts about curing himself from the virus by applying the homeopathic remedy made from the forsythia plant on himself. We're working very hard to find out where this virus came from, to treat it and to vaccinate against it if we can. We don't know all of that yet. We just don't know. What we do know is that in order to become sick, you have to first come in contact with a sick person or something that they touched. In order to get scared, all you have to do is come in contact with a rumor or the television or the internet. I think what Mr. Crumwoody is... Uh, is spreading is far more dangerous than the disease. By and large, the internet is not always a trusted place for extracting information. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like this video, leave a comment, and turn on the notifications for future content.